student welcome to astech channel this is vasan naik from kendra engineering college today i will start the subject analog and digital electronics for the third semester of cs and is students of utu so before starting this subject first we will see the syllabus of this subject the syllabus of this subject is something like this Uh, we have we have five modules in the first module is related to analog electronics and the rest of the four modules are related to digital electronics so since the digital electronics portions are very high compared to analog electronics we will start with the digital electronics before starting digital electronics we should have some some sort of knowledge related to the uh, basics of digital electronics that is called as a gap in the syllabus let's start first uh, the gap in the syllabus So now, so the subject is analog and digital electronics of 18 CS 33. That is the subject code. Now. What is the difference between analog and digital electronics? The first question is something like this. You should know this one. What is the difference between analog and digital electronics? So, analog electronics is nothing but the processing of continuous signal, like continuous signal, like voltage and current, that can take any value between the specified limit. That is called as an analog signal. Uh, on the other hand, digital series electronics is the processing of discrete signals, uh, which will take uh, Uh, discrete value between this specified limit that is called as a uh, digital uh, this one digital uh, that is the digital electronics so analog electronics is the processing of a continuous signal uh, digital electronics is the processing of a discrete signals so next one is uh, why do we convert analog to digital data so why do we convert analog why can't we uh, why we need digital uh, this one processing why can't you know nowadays all the almost all the processings are uh, uh, in the form of in the form of digital only digital processing like uh, you take our digital computer so uh, but in the real world the data is whatever data available is analog like if you take uh, Uh, the temperature of a fuel in uh, uh, like uh, refiner industry or uh, pressure or uh, uh, volume all these are analog in quantity we have to convert this quantity into digital so that uh, it can be further processed by the digital system to achieve the desired result or task or anything something like that so that's why it is necessary to convert analog data into digital data now what is a digital system what is a digital system so digital systems are uh, uh, designed to store process and communicate information in the digital form that is normally digital form is nothing but like a binary form like digital systems process the data in terms of one and zero so digital system is a uh, digital system is nothing but uh, Uh, the device which process store process the data in the digital form that is called as a digital system example of a digital computer next one is a uh, next one is a uh, why digital system make use of binary logic very important question why digital system make use of binary logic so you know binary means by means two binary system makes use of uh, two Two digits, that is zero or one. Now, uh, whatever components uh, which we used in digital blocks or digital uh, electronics are made by like transistor, diodes, ICs, etc., which works in either uh, either on state or off state. This is something like uh, zero or one. so that's why binary systems are used in the digital electronics so binary system make use of either zero or one to represent the value and this value can be characterized by 
either the presence of signal or absence of signal in the digital circuits. That's why digital circuit makes use of a, a binary logic. Next one is a, what is a logic circuit? See, logic circuit is a switching circuit or it is a two state circuit. Two state means either on or off state that duplicates the uh, logical process or something called as mental process or logical decision. Next one is what is number system? What are the different types of number system? What is a bit and byte? So what is a number system? Number system is nothing but a, a group of uh, numbers or an, uh, which is used to represent uh, various uh, this one. Uh, various uh, digits or numbers so uh, as I said number system is a collection of numbers now there are different types of number systems so we know binary number systems which makes use of 0 and 1 2 digit to represent any number that's why the digit is called a binary bit and group of 8 bits are called as a byte group of 8 bits are called as a byte. So, this one, this one is a binary system, first one. So, first one is a binary, this is the binary, second one is a decimal, decimal makes use of uh, you know 0 to uh, 9 to represent any number, this one, any numbers, it makes use of digit 0 to 9. Third one is a hexadecimal. So, binary makes use of 0 and 0 and uh, 0 and 1 and uh, decimal, you know, uh, makes use of 0 to 9 and uh, our hexadecimal 0 to 9 and above that uh, hexadecimal, above that uh, uh, hexadecimal makes use of uh, uh, A, B, C, D, E and uh, F. So, hexadecimal makes use of uh, all these symbols. So, uh, this is binary, uh, uh, sorry, uh, hexadecimal system. So, there are three types of systems, binary, decimal, hexadecimal. We have one more system that is called as a Optal system. Now, next question is uh, what is the logic gate? Very important. So, logic gate is a device uh, which, as actually, logic gates are the building blocks of uh, digital electronics uh, or digital system, you can say building blocks of a digital electronics or digital system. Logic gate as a one or more input and only one output. A logic gate is an electronic device which has got one or more input and only one output. This is the logic gate. So, there are different logic gates uh, are there. Uh, example, NOT gate, AND gate, OR gate, XOR gate, etc, etc, etc. So next question is, what is IC? IC is nothing but uh, normally full form of the IC is uh, electronic circuit, sorry, integrated circuit, which you use in uh, uh, most of the electronic circuits like uh, uh, motherboard and uh, uh, other uh, computers uh, uh, like uh, computer hardware, uh, other devices like hard disk, motherboard and LAN card, etc. 
So uh, IC is nothing but an integrated circuit. It is a set of uh, uh, electronic circuits on a single small piece of semiconductor material, usually usually known as uh, uh, silicon. That is a uh, IC. So now before proceeding, uh, let me take you to the uh, description of IC. So you can see here. So this is the normally uh, 8 pin IC, but how the IC looks? So IC looks uh, something like this. See, this is the, the uh, diagram or a physical picture of the IC. Like you can see here, this IC got 8 pins, uh, 8 pins and there is a, there is a name uh, on the top of the IC indicates which is this IC. This IC is a uh, triple five timer, five 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 timer IC. So uh, internally, this IC contains various circuits. You can see here various circuits. All these circuits are integrated in this one uh, by means of uh, integration process. So we know there are different types of integration process, process like small scale integration, medium scale integration, large scale integration, and very large scale integration. Now. When you take any IC, you can see there is a notch here. See, there is a notch here. See, you can see this is the notch. This is the notch. So, when you hold the IC facing towards you like this, then this pin is pin number 1 and This pin is pin number 2 and this is pin number 3 and this is pin number next one is pin number 4 and this one is pin number 5 then we have pin number 6 then we have pin number 7 and then we have pin number 8 like see from left side it goes like this and right side it goes like this numbering goes like this this is about IC so this is the pin number one. How to identify the pin number one? You have to hold the IC uh, with naming should uh, face towards you and uh, you can see there's a, uh, this one uh, latch is there uh, and uh, next to latch on the left side that is called as pin number one. So normally it is not written there pin number one, two, three etc. By, uh, by means of this latch, you will come to know which is pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is the one thing you have to remember here. And uh, one more thing is, uh, this is the uh, like diagrammatical representation of IC. See, this is the diagrammatic representation of IC and you can see this notch here and left of your notch the pin number 1, 2, 3, 4 but uh, that pin has got particular functionality that is called as this is the ground pin, this is the trigger pin, this is the output pin. Uh, you will come to know all these things later what is a trigger etc. But, but time, for time being you should know two pins. Uh, one is uh, power supply because in order to work this IC this requires power that is given by power supply at the pin number 8 and uh, pin number 1 should be connected to grounding that is called as a pin number 1 is ground and pin number 8 is a VCC. We, we are giving here a 5 volt power supply to the IC in order to make the IC work. So this is the diagram of the IC. So next So you can see here uh, one board, this is called a sister board, here you can see this is the IC, this is the IC of this board, based on this IC this board works. Uh, the thing is here, uh, the difference between the, the IC we have seen in the early, uh, seen, uh, earlier, that is the triple five timer and this one is, uh, that IC is called a dual inline package, pins are on the both side, but in this IC the pins are on the all four sides. And this type of ICs are called as a surface mounting device. Means uh, these ICs are mounted on the board and soldered on the board on the same side. But uh, 
uh, this one uh, like our uh, uh, dual in line package ic that is the timer ic that ic will uh, that ic is we what we do we mount it on the one side and we solder it on the other side uh, for that we need to uh, drill the holes uh, on the pcb so that is the difference between surface mounting device ic and uh, uh, other ic's what is the uh, this one uh, 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 useful of this surface mounting device ic Surface mounting device since surface, surface mounting devices are mounted on one side and soldered on the same side, you can make use of the space of the other side also, so that other IC you can mount on the other side. But if you uh, use a, a dual inline package IC, dip IC, then you that you have to mount it on the one side and solder it on the other side. In that area, you cannot mount other IC. That is the main difference between surface mounting device IC and uh, uh, dual inline package IC. Next question is uh, what is a trip table? So very very important. Uh, what is trip table? Trip table is to represent a Boolean expression of a logic gate. We know what is logic gate. For the logic gate, we will give input and we will find out the output. And that uh, function of a logic gate uh, is expressed uh, in terms of a uh, truth table. So, what we do exactly here is uh, it shows uh, each uh, possible combination of input, uh, what is the output in tabular format. For each possible combination of input, uh, what is the what will be the output uh, in tabular format that is called as a truth table. So, Truth table is also important. Now, before concluding this video, <coughs> we will see uh, in the lab uh, that is analog and digital electronics lab, uh, you will use uh, the trainer kit. The diagram of the picture of the trainer kit uh, is shown here. Uh, let me zoom it. So, this is the picture of uh, like. Uh, actual trainer kit and uh, this one so here so this one uh, is uh, called as uh, IC holder this one is IC holder here you can see the lever you have to lift the lever and insert the IC and you can see this is the IC number here. You can see here. You can see here the IC numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So now this trainer, digital trainer kit is used in uh, all the labs uh, to for this it is for the student purpose like they can implement various digital electronics experiment and study digital electronics lab so here you can in this ic holder here total four ic holders are there and you can use either 16 pin ic or 14 pin ic or 8 pin ic also you can use either 8 pin ic or 14 pin ic or 16 pin ic suppose if i use uh, 8 pin IC then the number is something like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 8 is normally called as a ground this is called as normally called as a ground this is normally called as a this is normally called as a ground so now 9 10 11 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 this 16 is called as a VCC. This is VCC. Now, suppose if I use a 14 pin IC, then this pin is 7, then this pin is becomes a 8. This 8, this is 9, this is 10, this is 11, this is 12, this is 13, and this is a 14. So, total 14 pin IC. That time, uh, 7 becomes ground and uh, 14 becomes a uh, 
VCC. Like this, uh, you can insert here how many ICs? Total four ICs you can insert because uh, in an experiment uh, there may be four ICs or five ICs, something like that. Uh, and uh, we have here, you can see, we have here. You can see here. Uh, this is <coughs> actually this one is called as a actually this one is called as a, the input section this one is called as input section here you will connect uh, <coughs> wires wires are called as patch cords from year to year suppose pin number one to year you will connect wire and uh, you by using the switches uh, you will give the input if the switch this is switch is off or on zero or one you will give and you will see the output here based on the function how it works based on the working of this ic you will see the output here so suppose if you want to use some analog components uh, or suppose if you want uh, use analog components with the uh, analog component like uh, some sort of components like resistor capacitor and along with the IC then you can use this breadboard also this is called as a breadboard you can use this breadboard for connectivity purpose also so this is a trainer kit and uh, we have some other uh, options here in trainer kit that is called uh, you can give clock pulse uh, to your circuits like uh, if you uh, if you uh, like connect the sequential circuits then you can give clock pulse to the your circuits and we have something called as power on switch here then other than that we have some some 5 volt 12 volt power supply to the ic you can give from here also so like this this is the trainer kit we use in the lab uh, the other than that we have here something called as a seven segment display so in some experiment uh, you will display 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, something like this uh, you need to display. All these things you can see here. I mean uh, all this display you can see here. So this uh, trainer kit contains uh, various uh, functional uh, blocks and all. Uh, you will come to know later uh, when we use this one. So these are the things uh, we will we should know before you start the subject. In next class uh, uh, we will see uh, what, what do you mean by uh, logic gates uh, and uh, what are the basic gates and what do you mean by universal gate and uh, related to the universal gate and uh, related to the universal gate and uh, uh, how you simplify simple uh, logic expression by using universal gate all these things you will see in the next class thank you